I'm horribly stressed out. Let me tell you why. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm, I'm having a little bit of a nervous breakdown. Everything is fine. Shit. Um, where do I start? I had therapy just now, because uh, I was in a car accident, and apparently I have a mild concussion, so. A while ago, when I was visiting my sister, I am planning on moving back to that area. I was like, hey, I could just download a dating app and have it for like one evening, see who likes me, and I can just talk to them when I get back, probably, maybe, I don't know. I can't breathe. <laughs> Break down. Since I was like 15, kind of thought I was like, bi, but I don't know. I still feel confused. Anyway, but I had it so that I could match with women and men. Out of all the people that swiped on me, I am still talking to four of them. I think I need to stop talking to one of them though. I just don't know how to tell them. Uh, anyway, I have FaceTimed one of them. They know that I don't live where they live but I am trying to move back there. I've applied for a job transfer. So I FaceTimed someone a couple days ago and it went really well. I'm gonna start doing my makeup now or I'll be late. They were a dude. So I was not too anxious about it. <laughs> um, but then one of the, the girls I'm still talking to asked if we could FaceTime and I'd never gone on a date with a girl and for some reason it's a lot scarier. Um, it's not like really a date, it's just FaceTiming, but it's like the first time we're not talking over text, so I'm stressed out. Because sometimes people are a lot different than what you think they're gonna be like. Um, like they text a lot different sometimes, you know? Yeah, I'm just very scared. <laughs> Canceling help this morning helped take my mind off of some of the other stuff. <sighs> that's been stressing me out. I have a massage later, so that's good. So far I've only had one physio appointment and one acupuncture appointment, but I think it's helped, so. Uh, mostly I'm just stressed out because I'm not very comfortable with certain things regarding dating. And um, FaceTime can be pretty uncomfortable sometimes, so hopefully it's not too bad. <sighs> I also haven't texted this person as much as the other, um, the guy that I FaceTimed the other day, so I kind of was a bit more comfortable timing him versus right now I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> I have not dated anyone in like two years. I was just tired of dealing with people. Talking to people again is kind of kind of weird. I wish you could just ask some of the like deal breaker questions like right away. <laughs> like I'm, you could but it'd be kind of weird. I'm pro choice. I don't think I would mesh very well with someone that was a pro life. Person. The person that I FaceTimed the other day asked if we could FaceTime again this weekend. So I think I will FaceTime him again. Maybe I can ask him the uncomfortable <laughs> questions. Like, <laughs> this is so weird, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. My least favorite thing about FaceTime is like trying to like end the call. <laughs> There's like no natural way to end it unless someone's like, oh, I have an appointment or oh, I have to go to work or oh, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I have an appointment a little ways after um, the FaceTime call was supposed to be scheduled for. Why is that sound like a business meeting? I'm FaceTiming them at uh, 12 o'clock and then my massage, that, mm, I can't talk. My massage is 1.30. Dating is just so weird. I say dating. I mean FaceTiming strangers. <laughs> my poor little heart can't take it today. <laughs> I've had this blush for like ever and I feel like it does not look very good on me. <laughs> but it's the only one I have, so. Hmm. Did I put too much on? I think I did. So really this is gonna be kind of like a funny get ready with me for a first date type of video because I'm not actually even going anywhere. <laughs> I mostly just needed to talk to you guys because I was freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Man, okay, so apparently when I'm nervous I just pile on the blush and the <laughs> highlighter. But it's fine. We'll be on camera. <laughs> she won't be able to tell. I also feel kind of like a jerk when I'm talking to more than one person at once. I know that they're probably talking to other people too, but I just so feel bad because I don't know. <laughs> oh, that blush is really bad. Um, like at what point is it okay to like, like when is it not okay to be talking to other people? I guess you have to talk about that with them. I don't know. Because I've always just when I started like dating someone or I had a boyfriend, 
it was always just like I was talking to them and no one else so I didn't have to deal with like <laughs> you know <laughs> that dilemma how are my eyebrows that one's a little bit funky but it's okay I feel like I'm gonna cry <laughs> my anxiety is so bad today tomorrow I'm going on a little out of town trip with my mom so that'll be fun it'll give me some practice to try and feel like not scared in a car and when I go to my massage later today I need to practice not holding on to the steering wheel super super tight and maybe listen to some nice music my therapist also wanted me to just sit and take some deep breaths before I start driving um, the car accident wasn't like that major but you know it's still scary it hasn't happened to me before and it was just um, even if it had happened to me before I'm sure I'd still be <laughs> shooken up a little bit about it my lips are so dry I'll be right back My foundation doesn't really match my neck right now. <laughs> and I don't like putting foundation down my neck, so. And then that's why I'm wearing this thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm not okay. I'm gonna need to calm myself down before I call them. Wish me luck.